Hello ho, I'm doing another unboxing of the Transient Light Tower Deck by Ari Wisner. And this one is illustrated by Fausta, jo Fausta Jolly, published by Hey House. And hello again, I am Sarah Tilsley and I am a tarot reader, spiritual confidence coach, energy healer and I wanted to review this deck. I saw um, a review of this deck by George Lizos actually which I'll link the video in the description box below. There that I saw that video there and I really liked the look of the deck and I liked it for as well because this deck is different than a lot of other tarot decks because this deck as well as having 81 cards so it's got a few extra cards in there the the box and stuff are all they're not there's not a lot shiny coating on on it which I quite like it's quite different um and I really like that idea and another major reason is Ari Wisner has created this deck in a way that is different from a lot of tarot it's and i really loved that idea because they have created this in a way where all of the normal gendered cards are now gender neutral which I really loved that idea of. So yeah, I've opened it. I've taken the cellophane off it. Is there words in the box here? That have been written. I'll let you read them for yourself if that's what you want to do. And you've got the little tarot deck book here. Which has got some of the descriptions that Ari has created for this deck using the cards, a few like rituals, creating your own spread things, a few of the normal things that you would find on the back, and this. It tells you about Ari and where to find them on the on Instagram here as well. And it says here, Ari Weisner is a queer artist, illustrator and designer. It's is they are the creator of the Trinity Tarot deck and Kalai Design a poetry and illustration collaboration project and you can find them at Ari underscore Weisner on Instagram. So do follow them as well. What's in this here with them the little bit of paper wrapped around them to keep them all together while they're in the box. And there's the back of the cards. And what I'm going to do is just show you the back of the card. Show you the cards. Let's put those there. I want to show you the cards and show you what they are individually as well. So you can see the illustrations. So I think sometimes you need to see the what the cards look like to see if the deck's for you as well. So we've got the Fool here. I like the symbology of some of the cards where you can see certain things in the some symbols in the cards that can give you a clue as well on what the cards the just what the cards talking about and I help you read them a little bit more intuitively. Then we've got the Magician, the Revealer. The nurturer, the 
the defender, the proclaimer, the lovers, the chariot, the strength, the hermit, the wheel, justice, the hanged one, death, temperance, the devil, the tower, the star, the moon, the sun, judgment, the world, the ace of wands, the two of wands, the three of wands, four of wands, Five of Wands. Let me just clear this up a bit. There we go. Six of Wands. Seven of Wands. The Eight of Wands. The Nine of Wands. The Ten of Wands. The Apprentice of Wands. The Champion of Wands. The Keeper of Wands, the Crown of Wands, the Ace of Vessels, so we've got Vessels instead of Cups, Two of Vessels, Three of Vessels, it's very artist with this Vessels card, Four of Vessels, Five of Vessels, Six of Vessels, Seven of Vessels, Eight of Vessels, Nine of Vessels, Ten of Vessels, The Apprentice of Vessels, which is obviously the, the otherwise known as the Page. I like it called The Apprentice, it's a lot of it, it feels a lot more fitting, at least to me it does. The Champion of Wands. The Champion of Vessels, sorry. The Keeper of Vessels. The Crown of Vessels. The Ace of Swords. The Two of Swords. The Three of Swords. The Four of Swords. The Five of Swords, the Six of Swords. I quite like the colours and the feel of these cards. Quite good quality cards. The Seven of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Apprentice of Swords, Champion of Swords, which I think is the, um, the Knight. The Keeper of Swords and the Crown of Swords. The Ace of Coins, so coins being the Pentacles. The Two of Coins. The Three of Coins. The Four of Coins. The Five of Coins. The Six of Coins. The Seven of Coins. The Eight of Coins, the Nine of Coins, the Ten of Coins, the Apprentice of Coins, the Champion of Coins, the Keeper of Coins, and the Crown of Coins. And then the extra cards here, we've got Past, Present, and Future, which I quite like that idea of having this past, present and future aspect within this tarot deck. This one's the one that's got a little bit more colour in, in these three. And it can sort of give you an idea then as when you're reading if one of these cards come out of what the, what 
that you're talking about. So what if you're talking about something that's happened in the past that they are perhaps moving away from, things that they're going through currently or something that might be happening in their future or as the potential, should I say, for happening in their future. So that is the Transient Light Tarot deck. And this little guidebook is really nice too. It was... It's self, a self-published edition of the Transient Light Tarot. Um, so it was kick-started to help them create this deck and publish this deck. So they had the funds to get it started and going. And we've got, obviously, you've got the list of what's going on there with the cards and where to find them. There's some, part three, it talks about um, some spread, so past, present and future. Ari's spread, false, does Solly's healing spread at the back as well. A little bit about welcoming the deck and Ari's tarot journey. About the tarot, the um, gender neutral and inclusive approach that they've put in here. It says here that they, they were craving a deck that didn't conform to the binary gender stereotypes that are traditionally found. And... That's the one thing I really didn't like about a lot of tarot decks. I mean, I love tarot, but I don't like the fact that there are a lot of gender binaries are still in tarot, which is why I bought this deck. So this is for everybody. And that's what I like. It doesn't rule anybody out. It's a bit about rituals. There's a poet, poetry by Faust the Jolly, which is the the artist who created the images for it. And then at the back, we were talking about the spreads at the back there. So you've got the past, present and future. It says here... To remove the three bonus cards, past, present and future, from the deck and returning them facing the opposite way. And shuffle the deck. Spreading them out in a, a line and then you will be able to see the past, present and future cards in there. We've also got Ari's spread here, which is an eight to nine card spread for, it says ideal for monthly check-ins and new and full moon ceremonies, which I really like that idea of. And I might take a closer look at this spread myself and see how that lines up with... And see if it see if it helps my my monthly check ins and stuff that I normally do anyway within my spiritually connected academy, um, and then Foster Joy Foster's Solis healing spread there. Solis the Sol so, so, Solis Solstice. <laughs> The solstice, so the summer or well, winter solstice for right, marking the change of dark to light and light to dark, the dark, the start of winter and the summer. And a bit about that healing there, which is a really good spread as well. A little bit about Ari Wisner and about Falls to Jolly at the back too. And again, how to find them both and contact them, which I really like. So this is Ari's deck. 
I will post the link to the video that inspired me to buy this deck in the comment description box below. So if this is something you're interested in, take a look at this deck. I haven't got a, a link to the card deck in my description box below but you can i found this on amazon so you can go on there and find it on there too and thank you for watching i hope you found this useful have the best day bye